Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, so that means it is Friday finds. Da da da, boom, let's get straight into it. Um, so, without further ado, the first item I want to mention is... So that is this sauce. It's Tingly Ted's. It's the Ed Sheeran sauce. Now, this you can get in most supermarkets. It is quite pricey, uh, but currently in Heron, it is two for a pound or 69p a bottle. Um, it has two chilies. It does have a slight kick, but it's not like it's going to burn your throat or anything. It just has a nice warming um, sensation. Um, I really like it. This is half a sim per um, tablespoon. If you are calorie counting, it's 47 calories for 100 grams. Um, so it, well, it's not much per tablespoon. This is lovely to either add to a chili con carne to add that like that extra depth of spice to it. It's really nice on a burger, a load your burger up, um, a low sin uh, burger or low calorie burger, um, lettuce, tomato, gherkins, cheese, um, and then this just adds something. This is really nice on fried eggs. I like a fried egg in a wholemeal putter bread with lots of rocket and some cheese in there, um, and this. Um, on it, it just has a little bit, I like that kick, and it certainly wakes you up in the morning. It's really, really nice, really versatile sauce. Um, it's not something which I would like pour on a plate and then dip my chips in kind of, kind of thing. It's not that kind of sauce. It's, it's just to have a background taste to a meal, and it just adds that bit of extra zuz to it. But if you like sauce, then dip it on your chips, no problem. And um, I really liked it. Um, I don't know how much it is in normal supermarkets, but I'm guessing you're looking at two pounds plus. I have seen it in Sainsbury's, but it was on a nectar price when I saw it, and that was quite a while ago. Um, and then even then, it wasn't something where I was like, oh, I know about this, I'll grab it, because I think it was like one pound 90 on nectar points, nectar price. Um, yeah, so 69p, I've tried it, and yeah, it's lovely. I probably wouldn't repurchase it again if it wasn't on a, like like an, a heron price. It's lovely, it's nice. If it wasn't in my life, would I miss it? No, not necessarily. I thought I would mention it because you may like it. Something which I adore and I haven't had for ages, and that is a giant couscous. So in most supermarkets, they'll have an aisle which is like food of the world, and in there you'll find a giant couscous. Now, this does take a little bit of a prep time. You can't just add boiling water to this, leave it for a bit and then fork it up and off you go with some normal couscous. Now, you have to do this on the plan. And what I will suggest is following the instructions at the back to, I think it's a cup of, if I can remember correctly, because I haven't had, yeah, one and a half cups of boiling water to one cup of, um, of this giant couscous. And then what I do to flavour this, because this is quite bland on its own, is stock pots, vegetable stock pots, tomato and paprika stock pots, they're really nice. Um, add that to your water while this is um, cooking and it's amazing. I have this on a roasted butternut squash. Um, I have it on its own with lots of like um, chicken, salad a bit, everything. It's so versatile. And I find that this is more fulfilling than your normal um, couscous. I use normal couscous just because it's quick and easy, whereas this I have to do over the pan. And it's like 10 to 15 minutes kind of thing. Uh, but it's completely, completely worth it. This is completely sin-free on Slimming World if you are calorie counting it. It's 360 calories for 100 gram dry pasta. Um, but I adore it. It's £1.29 or £1.20 where I got it from. I got it from an online supermarket. Um, and I can't recommend it enough. It is delicious. I have two packets of this. Um, one to use now and then the other packet I've been using more spring summer time because this is where I really use this a lot it's such a versatile product um inexpensive and you can do so much with it really recommend giant couscous if you're not a fan of the regular couscous then they then do try this because this it has a certainly a different texture um to regular couscous highly recommend this this one is MS. now MS is amazing at their seasonal products they just get it and they have brought out these. This is the first time I've physically seen these, so they could have been out every year, but it's the first time I've seen them. And that is the Extremely Cheesy Cheddar and Red Leicester Hot Cross Bun. Now, I'm a northern girl. I love a tea cake um, with 
cheese on top. Oh, it is amazing. I like Christmas cake with cheese. Yes, I love anything which is meant to be like sweet with cheese. <laughs> I adore it. And um, so when I saw these, I'm like, that's a bit of me and they are certainly a bit of me. I had one of these, which is nine sins, um, halved it, um, toasted it, put my Healthy Extra A cheese on top, grilled it. Oh, it was sensational. It was delightful. Um, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, uh, the weekend, the weekend breakfast was always, it was a bit more indulgent. So like throughout the week when it was school, it was toast, porridge, cereal, that kind of um, breakfast. But at the weekend, it was something more indulgent. So it was either like a fry up, it was either um, croissants, pan of chocolates, fruit and then my mum and dad, that's where I get my coffee loving from because they're coffee lovers. They would get like the posh coffee mug out and we'd sit at a family on a Sunday around the table having breakfast. We had one of those like racks of toast or the toast slide up. It was just like an event. It wasn't every weekend we had that but it was just a really nice, we'd have a posh breakfast as we would call it. And these kind of thing at the weekend, I like to have a more indulgent breakfast. I think it's just because I love nostalgia, I'm all for nostalgia. And um, yeah, Back to this, I went on a tangent there, but what I'm saying is at the weekends, I, I go more for an indulgent breakfast and these are nine sins or they are 188 calories. Um, oh, they're just amazing. I highly recommend them. The other three I have put in the freezer because they are freezable and then I'm gonna have one every Saturday probably with my healthy extra A and just love it with a coffee in the morning. And yeah, I don't mind spending nine sins on things like this. Um, this brings me happiness, it fills me up, and we're, I'm on a lifestyle plan. I'm, I'm here to have things like this in my plan and sustain me. I don't want to avoid kind of these kind of items. I want to be able to enjoy them in um, a well-balanced um, plan. And um, and then I don't overindulge it when like Easter comes and I go, oh, it's Easter. I've, I've not had anything like this and I'll overindulge everything. And then you're just back to square one kind of thing and then it's harder to get back on. But having a little bit what you fancy now and again is amazing, all in moderation. I've sinned it um, and it works within my, uh, my sinnage and yeah. Highly, highly recommend these. If you're not a cheesy fan, then these are not for you. Um, but oh, they are amazing, absolutely amazing. And could they have an offer on where it's two packets for £3.50 or the £2.30 per pack. So I've got the cheesy ones and the husband and my son, they have the indulgence um, hot cross buns. They, they've gone, they've they've enjoyed them they had one saturday one sunday and yeah they've gone but these are mine and i can't wait to have one on saturday i am really looking forward to it um yeah so really recommend them let's stick with mns so in mns i got these which are the milk chocolate digestive biscuit bars and oh they're gorgeous i think you get nine in a bag eight eight in here um all individually wrapped um, £1.50 for the whole packet, which I didn't think was bad. And it's a digestive biscuit dipped in delicious milk chocolate. I mean, what aren't you going to love? These are six sins each, but completely worth it in my personal opinion. A really nice indulgent snack. And I have these on an evening um, with either an orange or some fruit. Um, yeah, um, these are 115 calories per, per um, bar and yeah, lovely. Also with M&S, I got these, which are the Fruity Flapjack bags. These are four and a half sins each, you get six in here, and I think they're about £1.50 or £1.70. I think these were more ha higher priced than these, or the other way around, I can't remember. Um, but these are gorgeous. What I will say is, you do get a few. I was surprised at how many little flapjacks you get in the actual bag itself. Now, when you take them out of the bags, um, they feel a bit dry. Um, it's not something you would want to eat on their own because, but you can, I dip these, I'm a dunker, dip these and then eat them are oh, incredible. Um, yeah, these are definitely worth it with a coffee or a cup of tea and then dunk these individually and then they just melt in the mouth and they, they are like a flapjack. They're not a flapjack taste, they are a flapjack but in a circle version and small but 
um, I think because they are small, um, th they've got a little bit dry, so you do need something to like rehydrate them, like a good cup of tea or a good cup of coffee in my case. And yeah, thoroughly enjoyed them. All the family have really enjoyed these, and these are definitely, definitely a repurchase. Um, highly recommend them. Eight, um, four and a half cents, all they are. 86 calories per bag. Really recommend these. Then a random product um, which I've been loving is butternut squash. I adore this vegetable. It's so versatile and I thought I'd mention it. This is speed food on Slimming Wall. Um, and what I do is cut the ends off, half it, um, fry light it, put a, a bit of paprika on it and then bake it in the oven. I leave the seeds in and then just after about 10 minutes, I take them out and then I scoop the seeds out. It's a lot easier to scoop the seeds out when it's a little bit warm I find so that's how I I personally do it you do you um and then um I have either chili con carne on it so it says I don't have rice with it I find this more fulfilling or it's lovely the day after because the skin goes really nice and caramelized and oh they, this with giant couscous is a game changer absolutely love it and um, I've chopped the half up, chopped it up into cubes and used it as like a meat kind of thing and then add it with giant couscous so you can use normal couscous with it. Um, oh, it's just, because it's got like that sweet taste to it, it, it really does satisfy me. I absolutely love butternut squash. So I thought I'd mention it because that's something I've been absolutely loving. Um, perfect in soups as well. I'm not in the soup weather at the moment. Um, yeah, I've moved from that. I think because we're having nicer days, the sun keeps coming out. Um, but yeah, um, I've been loving the good old butternut squash. Um, and also as well, as um, once you've halved it, and I always half it and then bake it. And then what I do is one, with one half, I'll slice it. And that's nice um, with curry sauce on top. Trust me. It's amazing, really, really nice because you get the sweetness of this and then like the depth of the curry sauce. I use me flour, um, it's lovely and it's so fulfilling and yeah, you, you can bulk it up with rice, you can put lentils with the um, curry sauce, which I've done as well. Um, a nice little vegetable curry um, and then have a little bit of rice with it. Sometimes I use tender stem broccoli with it. It's so versatile and I thought I'd give good mention to butternut squash uh, because it's a versatile vegetable. Something which has been out and about for ages, but I have got a few new subscribers, a few people are new to Summer World. This is the Health Extra BI News. This is the Warburton Soft Pitters. These are the best pitter breads on the market, hands down. If people have mentioned pitter breads, oh, I need a pitter bread, most of the time they're using these because the normal average pitter bread is dry. You try and cut it and it falls to pieces. Those kind of pitter breads are amazing to make pitta pizzas with. Just use the pitta bread as the base of a, a pizza, a tomato puree, passata, and then whatever toppings you want, um, cheese, grill it, and it's lovely because it obviously, it doesn't go soft and soggy, it holds firmness. But if you're wanting a pitta bread to use as a sandwich, then these are the ones because they're soft, that you can open them up, and you can really pack a lot in these. Um, I really like these, I highly recommend them. I, you can make these, I've made them into kebabs, put the kebab filling in, which is the Coleman's Big Night In Kebab, which is five and a half cents per packet. There's others out there which you can get sin free, low, low sin, lower sins than that, but for me that's just, it's quick and easy. And I don't, and we, and we serve it between three of us and I do have leftovers. So perfect for kebabs, um, perfect just to put salad in. Um, yeah, really, really ideal. I can't rave about these enough. On average, they're about £1.50. and um, You can get them in lots of different places and most of the time they are on a rollback, a sale. You can get them yellow stickered. As soon as I see these yellow stickered um, because they're a staple in my house, I then just chuck them in the freezer so I've always got them to hand and they're perfect when they're defrosted. Um, toast them, you can do whatever. I just thought I would recommend these because these are the ones I love and adore. That has been everything for Friday Finds. I hope you've enjoyed this and as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.